friends, my name is Daniela and I'm so excited to be here sharing with you guys my skincare routine. Um, as some of you may know, I have acne prone and very dry skin type and have dealt with acne breakouts for more than a year now. It's been a long year, it's been a long time since I felt comfortable enough to go out without makeup on, um, which is what my skin is right now. It's makeup free and I'm just so proud to finally be there. Um, and I just wanna help you guys get there as well. So sorry if this is a lengthy video. Uh, I just wanted to cover all the grounds and thoroughly go through all the steps because they all matter. They really do. So yeah, let's get it started. All right, so I began my routine with a makeup removing cleanser. Um, my favorite being Pond's Gold Cream Cleanser. This is a makeup melter. It's going to take away waterproof mascara like it's nothing. You pretty much just massage it into your eyes and your face, uh, 20 seconds would do it. And then you remove that uh, remainder makeup with a warm washcloth. It leaves your face super soft and is has no drying effect to it. And most importantly, you get to keep all your eyelashes because I was at my wits end with makeup removers pulling out my eyelashes. Like, it hurt. This does not. Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. Um, so after I remove my makeup, I'll go in with my hydrating micellar water from CeraVe. This is going to further remove any makeup that I missed. Um, and also like deep cleanses, so you're getting all the dirt and stuff off of your face as well. And like it says in the name, it is very hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and three different ceramides. So while you're taking off the rest of your makeup and dirt, you are also helping build your moisture barrier. So after the micellar water, I go in with my hydrating facial cleanser, also from CeraVe and like the water, the micellar water. This has the niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides in it as well, even further building your moisture barrier. I didn't know this for the longest time, but uh, a lot of products that are targeted for acne prone skin actually weakens and destroys your moisture barrier. So it's drying your face out like hella. And when your face is dry like that and you have no protective barrier, um, you're even more prone to acne. So it's, maybe it's a ploy. It's probably a ploy from these companies to keep you buying their acne prone products that don't actually work. Huh. Anywho, you definitely don't wanna use those. You definitely wanna use this. Build your moisture barrier up to help protect your skin from bacteria and excess oils, all that gross stuff you don't want in your face. You wanna protect your face from it. Um, so this is my favorite facial cleanser. It's very milky, very gentle. Um, it doesn't foam, it has no bubbles in it. Uh, I just do one pump of this on my damp face and massage it in for about a minute um, and then wash it off with, again, lukewarm water. Um, and after I have washed off the cleanser, I do not pat my face dry with a towel. I will instead pat my face dry with my hands. Um, so this is about a minute to two minute long process, um, but you take your hands that are wet Face that is still wet, and you just pat your face dry. This is a Korean skincare move right here. Patting it in, you're just patting it in. And that way, you don't use a towel that has, it runs the risk of introducing more bacteria to your face and irritation. Um, and then you're also packing in that hydration from the water, just right into your face. So just, you know, while you're doing this, like think of something tranquil, like the beach, waves crashing. It's very relaxing, yes? <laughs> yes. 
So after you pat your face dry, um, I go in with a toner. Um, so exfoliation is very important, especially for people who are prone to acne and breakouts. Uh, if you've ever heard of BHAs and AHAs, this one that I use here is a BHA, a beta hydroxy acid. So this is called CauseRx. It's a Korean brand. CauseRx One Step Pimple Pads. These are toner pads, come 70 in a pack, uh, that are soaked in willow bark water, which is a form of salicylic acid. Um, so like I was saying, BHAs and AHAs, I have heard a lot of talk about which ones to use and which one is good for what. And I have found BHAs, beta hydroxy acids, so like salicylic acids and along those lines, uh, to be best for acne prone, oily skin. Um, so this is going to get deep down and help, um, with excess oil, uh, production. It's gonna help with inflammation and it definitely helps with texturized skin. Um, when I was breaking out, I would get a lot of closed comedones is what they would call them, but those are pretty much under the skin pimples that will probably never come to surface, but in certain light, it looks like a damn crunch bar. It looks bad, it's very rough and bumpy. Um, that's what my skin looked like. And this stuff helped smooth all of it out. That's, I gotta buy more, cause I'm almost out. And I got my boyfriend hooked on it, and uh, we're obsessed. We love this stuff. Oh, but I do have to say, you need to wait at least 15 minutes. I usually wait 30 minutes, but you need to wait at least 15 minutes after using this product until you move on to your next step. If you don't wait those 15 minutes and you jump right into your next step, it renders the active ingredient in this useless. And you want to use all of the active ingredient in this, babe, because it's gonna freaking save your skin, I promise you. After the toner pads, I go in with a Claire's Supple Preparation Toner. This is also a Korean brand. Um, as opposed to the toner pads, which are exfoliating, this toner is gonna be very, very hydrating. So the consistency of this stuff is kind of like um, a water serum in a way. I'll just do like three doses of this stuff and put it in both my hands like this and then pat into my skin again with that Korean skin patting motion. It's a lifesaver. I'll get used to doing like this. I bet I worked out like this part of my arms like hella crazy doing this. Uh, 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 uh. But anyway, you're gonna pat this toner into your skin and it leaves you so supple. Like I can feel my skin like plumping up after I use this. And uh, it has Centella Asiatica in it, which is a natural form of like collagen. So it really is plumping your skin from the inside and also putting more hydration into it. It's got amino acids, helps with inflammation and hyperpigmentation in the skin. Cannot recommend this stuff more. I feel like it has made me look 10 years younger. Like I look 16 instead of 26. LOL, y'all, I'm so fucking dumb. I'm not even 26, I'm literally 25 years old. What the fuck is this bitch thinking? Oh my God. Claire's supple preparation toner. I usually also do like a few layers of this because it's so lightweight and you get so much hydration out of it um, that I'll just do like one layer, pat it in, pat it dry, and then I'll do another layer of three doses and pat that in as well. All right, so once that toner is all dried down and patted into your skin, uh, I go in with my beloved CauseRx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Amazing. Um, I've talked about this stuff before, um, just because I was amazed at how drastic the results for me were, it took about maybe five to seven 
days of consistently using um, to really make a difference in my skin, but boy did it. It really does even out your skin tone if you have hyperpigmentation and scarring. Snail mucin is supposed to heal and nourish and protect, so if you have any active acne or maybe you've recently popped a pimple and you have um, a big scar or like scar tissue, this is gonna heal it all right up. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's not a miracle worker. It's not gonna work overnight, but you consistently use this stuff and you'll see a difference in your skin. It also is very hydrating, very nourishing, moisturizing, like what can't? snail mucin do like answer that for me what can't snail mucin do i would lather this all over my entire life it would heal my life i love it so after the snail mucin i'll go in with a moisturizer um, i usually do the snail mucin before the moisturizer because the snail mucin really prepares your skin for the moisturizer it's going to help whatever moisturizer you use, really sink in and do the work it's supposed to. Um, and so the moisturizer I go in with after that is Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. This stuff has the herb ladies mantle in it, which helps remove dry flaky skin and promotes mega hydration. The consistency of this is awesome, especially in these upcoming summer months when it's gonna be hot as hell. This stuff is like a mix between like a gel and a cream. I'd say it's more on like the jelly side. It smells so good. It has like a light herbal scent to it. When I wake up the night after I use this, when I wake up, I have the most bouncy, like supple skin ever. I really, just looking at my skin right now, like it looks really bouncy and soft and stuff, you know? Like you want that. You want that dewy, ooey, gooeyness, you know? You want to look like you're 16 years old when you're 46. You want to turn back time. And hydration is the way to do it, okay? So I also have some products here that I'll use intermittently. One thing that is a huge true staple to my routine and I advise everyone, everyone, doesn't matter your skin type, doesn't matter what skin issues you have, you need this in your routine. Sunscreen, babe, sunscreen. I use La Roche-Posay Anthelios 45. Um, this is called like an ultra fluid sunscreen, so you have to shake it up um, before you apply it, but it leaves no white cast um, and uh, it's very, it's not drying, it's very uh, comfortable on my face. Um, I usually in the morning is when I'll apply sunscreen, um, so I'll do a moisturizer and then a sunscreen on top of that. Introducing a Sunscreen to my daily routine has helped tremendously with hyperpigmentation and acne scarring. So the more your skin is exposed to UV rays and just sunlight exposure, the darker the spots on your face will get. So make sure you are using an SPF. Also use the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. This one has a uh, higher concentration of salicylic acid than um, the willow bark toner pads that I use. So I don't use this as often. I will use this once, maybe every two to three days, uh, just whenever I shower. Don't throw shade about how often I shower. I'm a clean person, okay? It's very gentle. It does bubble up and foam. Um, and, but I do find it to be a little on the drying side, so I definitely don't use it as often as I do the hydrating cleanser. Um, but it does help keep my acne at bay. My skin responds very well to salicylic acid. I've got the CeraVe, I'm just a CeraVe hoe. <laughs> 
We've got CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. This is hyaluronic acid, that moisture barrier builder I was mentioning before. Yeah, it's got tons of that in this. Um, and it also helps with skin brightening. So I do a dot of this under my eyes and I also do some of that on my cheeks where I have major acne scarring um, and it has helped a bunch with that. If I, I don't use this every day, but when I do use it, I'll use it before my moisturizer. So after the snail mucin, before my moisturizer, CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. Spot treatment. Um, when I do get acne, now it's usually around my period. It's very hormonal acne, so it's cystic, very deep in my skin and painful. Um, I'll use the Mario Badescu Buffering Lotion. Um, this stuff with consistent use will dry out a cystic acne spot in I'd say three days tops. I love this stuff, but make sure you don't use it like all over your face. It's literally a spot treatment, so just the spot you need it on. Another moisturizer that I use, I use this moisturizer in the morning before my sunscreen. I find it pairs best with the sunscreen that I use, and that is Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. This stuff is amazing for sensitive skin. It is non-comedogenic, uh, fragrance-free. Um, it has a very simple ingredient list. Uh, it's not as moisturizing as I like my nighttime moisturizers to be, so I pretty much just stick to this one in the daytime. I think we covered all the ground there is to cover. Um, all the products that I used today um, were mentioned in this video. All the products I have been using for the past few months to help keep my acne at bay were mentioned in this video. If you guys have any questions about my routine or about the products I use, um, or if you just want to talk skincare, I fucking just, I love talking about skincare. I could talk about it forever. Uh, well, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you go out and you try these products. Um, and if you do, if you pick up any of these things and they work for you, please let me know. I love to hear that stuff. Love it. Love, love, love. Um, all right, so I guess that's it for my first ever video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.